while previously on some of the winding roads in southern Chile, we had gotten passed by a really fast motorcycle, and I recognized them when they pulled up back at camp and we introduced ourselves. Vanya had been riding on the back of Matthew's KTM since they met, because she was previously just a backpacker, and I gave her a little motor lesson in the gas station. And then we all camped at the uh, Whistler's house. At one point we stopped and picked up a hitchhiker who had been long distance traveling on a horse and his horse had fallen ill and he needed a ride into town to get some horse medication so Andrea took him on the back of her bike. We rode to El Chalten because we wanted to go hike Fitzroy. Fitzroy is a bunch of giant granite peaks covered in snow and is magnificent. We rode into town and met a whole bunch of backpackers that were all there and excited about hiking. We cooked a lot of dinners with them, made some homemade pizza, and drank a lot of wine, and they even grilled a sheep or a lamb or something. We met a few other adventure riders when we were down there, and also this stick bug. We met this American girl named Ellen, and she learned how to ride on my bike. Hiking the mountains is extraordinarily beautiful. People travel from all over the world to go there and hike. There's butterflies and flowers and trees and rocks. The trail is not too difficult for the first however many kilometers. I think it's six miles each way, something like that. And the first five and a half miles is fairly flat, pretty easy. And then the last kilometer is straight uphill. It's very sunny, there's no tree cover. So it's really challenging, but you're rewarded with stunning <laughs> views of those peaks. And there's a giant blue crystal pool at the top and an obese falcon. Yeah, a really fat falcon that probably eats everyone's lunches. When we got back into town, we were packing up the bikes and noticed that Amy's rear tire has pretty much zero tread left on it in the center of the tire from doing so much highway. We tried to find her a tire and it was impossible, so we just kept going. Yeah, we went down to the town of Calafate. We managed to make a friend and camp in a really sweet backyard. Yeah, he had a little red dirt bike. He needed the carburetor cleaned and a couple other things, so we did our best to fix it up for him. We also did some maintenance on our own bikes. Here's my carburetor waiting to get cleaned. Amy's changing. My first tire. Oh. And how's it going so far? Wonderful. It looks great. You got it. Wow. And now we're gonna fix our beautiful host little Motomel bike, because it has some car problems too. And we're listening to music, and everybody's high. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and I found a guanaco skull to adorn my bike. I was pretty excited about it. When we left Calafate, we headed towards Carrito Moreno Glacier which is the largest glacier in the world, and it's extraordinary. We spent the entire afternoon watching it, and if you hang around long enough, big chunks of it the size of skyscrapers will crack off with a thunderous sound and crash into the water below. 